The Lunar New Year Festival is just around the corner and it will start on Tuesday, January 25th. This festival relies heavily on magic find and luck. So let's learn how to maximize our magic find and what should we do with our luck to maximize our profit from both during the festival. To maximize our magic find, we will start with sources that are very easy to get for anyone. If you talk to the guild enhancement vendor inside your guild hall, one of the boosters they will sell will be the guild magic find. The higher the level of your guild hall, the more magic find you will get. And the maximum you can get is a 10% increase in the magic find. Once you buy this buff, it will stay on your bar until you change it with something else. Next, we have the chocolate omnum berry cream, which you can buy directly from the trading post. This will increase the magic find by 40% as long as you are under at least one boon. This shouldn't be too hard to do because every build is able to generate at least one boon using many skills they have. And if you are not sure how to do that, just ask me in the comments and I will be very happy to get back to you. Next, we have utility items that will increase our magic find by 30%. There are three of them, all will cost the same price and all will give the same effects. The only difference is which stats do they increase when you revive an ally. The first one is a flask of pumpkin oil, the second one is a lump of crystals, and the third one is a sharpening skull. You can only have one of them at a time, so just select the one you prefer. As we go, if you found this guide helpful, please consider subscribing and leaving a like to see more similar content in the future. Another buff you can get that is similar to the food buff is a new year's gift. This will give you a buff that will increase your magic find by 10% and it will stay on you for 5 minutes per stack and so you can keep consuming as many of them to increase your duration. The maximum it will stack up to will be 2 hours. To activate the buff, just double click on the item which will give you a skill like this. You can use it, it will do some sort of a firework and it will give you the buff. If you want to speed things up, you can get on your mount and then you can consume and this way you can avoid having to use the skill over and over. Both of those two items are right now the cheapest and they will both give you the exact same effect. You cannot use both of them at the same time, they will just stack in duration, they will not give you two different buffs. The first one is the lucky drake tail and the second one is the lucky prismatic rocket and you can buy both of them directly from the trading post. Next we have the guild heroes banner and the spirit banner. Very often you will find them dropped in major cities and in passes, but especially during the festivals you will find a lot of people dropping them in divinity's reach. However, in worst cases, if you didn't find any and you want to get them yourself, you can buy 3 heroes banner for 10 silvers and 3 guild commendations which you get during guild missions. And you can buy them from the guild commendation trader which you will find inside your guild hall. And you can buy the spirit banner for 25 spirit shards from any vendor beside the mystic forge. The easiest one to reach will be the mystic forge right beside the traders from waypoint which you can find in lion's arch. All you have to do is just interact with the banners, the spirit banner will increase your magic find amongst other benefits by 10% and the hero's banners will give you multiple effects, one of them will be the guild magic find banner boost which will increase your magic find by 15%. However, if you are a new player and you don't have that many spirit shards or guild commendations, then you should save them for other stuff that will be more valuable. Magical enrichment is an item you can put in ascended amulets or legendary amulets. They will not work with any other piece of gear and they have to be ascended or legendary. You will not be able to put it on an exotic amulet. This item will increase your magic find by 20%. You can buy this enrichment from any laurel vendor for 20 laurels. The easiest laurel vendor will be at this waypoint which you can find in Lion's Arch. Celebration booster and birthday boosters both will give you the exact same effect which is the celebration bonus. This will increase your magic find by 100%. And this is the most important buff you should try to get. Celebration booster is a little bit easier to get because you can get it as a part of the daily login rewards. Birthday boosters on the other hand will only be available when each of your characters reach a birthday. The celebration booster will last for one hour and the birthday booster will last for one day. Another booster is called the item booster. 
This will increase your magic find by 50%. You can get it from the item booster itself, which you will get it from various sources as you play the game normally. You can also buy it directly from the gem store, and you can get it as one of the potential buffs you will get from the candy corn gobbler. Heroic booster will also give you the exact same effect as the item booster and experience booster combined. So whichever is easier for you and you have more of the heroic booster or the item booster, just use one of them. They both will give you the same buff. You can buy another version that works exactly the same way from this item booster and you can buy it from the Laurel vendor for one Laurel. The difference is this one is going to stack for 2 hours but this one will last only for 30 minutes but both of them will give you 50% magic find. Please keep in mind that both items give the same buffs. If you use both of them at the same time it will only stack in duration not effect. There are two more items we can buy using our black lion statuettes from any of the black lion statuettes vendor. The black lion booster will give you a buff that will stay for 30 minutes and this will increase your magic find by 100%. And the communal boost fire will drop an item that everyone can use and one of the buffs you can choose will be a magic find buff that will increase it by 50%. This item also sometimes go on the gem store, but right now it is not available. However, it may become available again during the festival. More often than not, especially during lunar year and winter's day, a lot of people will drop this communal boost fire and you can interact with it to get the buff. And if you are one of those people that buy it to drop it for everyone else to benefit, I would like to thank you very very much on behalf of everyone because it is very generous and very kind of you, especially given the fact that it is not a cheap buff. You will find a Black Lion Statuette vendor right inside the trading post southwest of the Traders Forum Waypoint in Lion's Arch. With that being said, please understand that the Black Lion Statuettes is a very valuable currency. You can use it for a lot of valuable items, a lot of unique skins. There are also certain extra buffs that you will get only in Silver Wastes when you do events in it and especially when you kill the last boss. Those buffs only apply in Silver Wastes and if you leave the map, you will lose those buffs. The first buff is called Perseverance and this can stack up to 5 times. You will get it as you complete events in Silver Wastes, which shouldn't be too hard to do. Each stack will give you 30% magic find and can stack up to 5 times for a total of 150 magic find. The second buff is called Hero of the Wastes, which you will get when you kill the last boss. And this buff will give you a total of 50% magic find. And so because this can be a little bit time consuming, what you want to do is save a bunch of envelopes and before you open them, come do the meta in Silver Wastes and kill the last champion and only after you do that, you can consume all the other buffs we just explained and then you can open your envelopes. Another very important item that is related to the festival is the Essence of Luck, the exotic version of it that gives you 200 luck. This is used as a currency to buy some envelopes and to buy some other items related to the festival. You can get it normally by salvaging items and you can also craft it from any artificier even if you are level 0 even if the character is brand new all I need to do I will talk to the master artificier beside the crafting station please teach me to be an artificier and then when I go back to the station I can type luck and I can see the recipes for it because then you can use all kind of essence of luck from all the various sources regardless of the rarity and you can upgrade it into an exotic which as I said is needed as a currency. So start saving up on those essence of luck because you will need them as a currency during the festival and you can also make some gold with them and I will show you how to do that during the festival when it arrives. I will now leave some other gold making guides on your screen. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.